Podcast.com. NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore is about to fly up to the International Space Station for a six-month mission, but right now he's speaking to us from Russia before blasting off to orbit at the end of the month. So, Butch, this isn't your first. This won't be your first time in space. Um, what are you most looking forward to about traveling uh, up to orbit again? Well, having spent just under two weeks in space <laughs> several years back, I can't say that there's only one thing that I'm looking forward to. The entire experience is overwhelming. Uh, it's one event after the other, and I expect uh, those six months. There'll certainly be some downtimes during the six months, but. There are certain challenges throughout the entire period that we'll be there on Expeditions 41 and 42, and looking forward actually to all of it, the launch, the work, uh, potentially EVA spacewalks, work in the arm, uh, payloads, and then of course the entry. So it's, it's all gonna be great and fascinating. Yeah, and so what are you expecting to be different about this flight when compared to your last? Um, so aside from just the longer duration, what, what kind of challenges are you expecting? Well, the big difference is certainly will be the uh, the time, obviously, six months by just under two weeks. And also the work, the pace of the work. During a shuttle mission, you only had so much consumables on board the shuttle itself, so you could only stay so long uh, before you had to return. And the, we had a lot of work to do, and we had to really pack the schedule full. And so it was work, work, work. I think the longest I ever had, the uh, longest period of time I had to stick my nose in the window and look back at the Earth was about 20 minutes. So that's the longest I had. And you know, over a six month period, there's gonna be at least a few off days. Um, I'll have more time to do that. Look out the window, get in the cupola, take in the view, take in the grandeur of it all. So certainly that th there will be times that the pace will be very fast and furious because of the work that we have, but there'll be certainly some down times too. So that's the biggest difference I'd say. Right, are you expecting to take some photos? I might take a few. I certainly will. I may not take as many as some as have in the past. There's some pretty high records out there, but I'm going to take uh, take my fair share. You bet. Right. Um, and are you planning on, on maybe using social media or some other sharing site to, to either share those photos or your thoughts on being in space with people on Earth? You know, I do plan to use social media, but I'm going to do it through my crewmates. Uh, Reed Wiseman, of course, and Alexander Gerst are big uh, social media guys. They'll be there when I arrive. And then after they leave, just a few weeks after they, uh, they leave, um, Terry Virts and Samantha Christopheretti will be coming up, and they're huge social media workers as well. So I'll put my pictures and some thoughts out through those guys. I don't personally have any in my own uh, Twitter accounts or anything like that because really there's no need with all those other folks doing it. <laughs> Great. Um, and so are you excited about the prospect of, of maybe doing a spacewalk while you're while you're on the station? Yeah, oh, well, certainly. I mean, you think about space flight and the different opportunities you have as a shuttle pilot. Shuttle pilots commanders were never trained to do spacewalks because we had a certain skill and we had to, you know, be prepared to land the shuttle when we got back. So they never risked putting commanders or pilots outside because it is a, certainly a more of a risky type of uh, endeavor to go about. So we never really had that opportunity. But now that we don't have a vehicle to land in that manner, uh, we do have that option. And certainly the chance to go on and put your own space vehicle on and go outside and, and do those things uh, are, are certainly fascinating thoughts. So I, I'm no different than anyone else. I look forward to that opportunity, sure. Um, and so aside from, from family, um, what do you think you'll miss most uh, during the long duration mission? I mean, are there any comfort foods that you really wish you would have on the station or anything that is even being flown up that maybe you could, <laughs> that will help you feel a little bit more like home? Comfort foods. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a unique in that category. I, I'm a naval pilot, so I spend a lot of time on aircraft carriers, and I think I'm one of the few people that actually like ship food. So <laughs> I like about everything. So all the food will probably be wonderful as far as that goes. I think there's certain things, certainly the the smells, you know, I like, I like to do my own type of work. So I get out and I cut my own grass and trim my own trees. And I love the smell of freshly cut grass. Of course, I won't have that opportunity uh, to have those type of, uh, of sensor, you know, senses uh, aroused uh, during the time I'm there. So there's some of that certainly that I'll miss. But, the, you know, it's a different environment. I mean, the unique thing about being in space and zero gravity and having that opportunity to do it, I'm, I feel certainly blessed. There's not many people that have had that opportunity in the past. Um, and hopefully there will be many, many more in the future. But right now, there's, there's just not a lot of those options. And, and to have that opportunity, I cherish it, and I'm very grateful. 
Um, so as a fellow Tennessean, I have to ask, are you going to be able to watch any UT football games while you're on the station or find out the score or something like that? <laughs> You know, I have asked. They do. We have a, a certain um, process where they can ship us up certain television shows or, or, or ball games. And I certainly have asked for some uh, Tennessee Tech football games, which is where I played uh, several years ago. And also, I'm a big fan of the uh, Southeastern Conference, so I've asked for Southeastern Conference football games. And I'm, I'm certainly sure that I will watch my fair share when I have the opportunity. You know, we have time to work out about two and a half hours a day. Uh, scheduled workout time, and I plan to use that maybe watching some of those football games. Great. Great. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. Really appreciate it, uh, and good luck with everything out there. <laughs> Outstanding. Thank you, Miriam. It was a pleasure. Thanks. Space.com.